When karma comes, these are two things that will destroy a narcissist until he dies. Hey there, lovely souls, and welcome to my realm where I delve into the intricate web of exposing the narcissist. A heartfelt gratitude for choosing to grace this video with your presence. Today, I'm delving into a couple of a chill's heels that plague every narcissist. These are the very elements that unravel their carefully crafted facade, ultimately leading to the demise of their inflated ego. If you've caught my cinematic masterpiece, The Narcissist's Karma is Inbuilt, you're already privy to the notion that narcissists are their own worst enemies. We needn't devise elaborate schemes for retribution because they're already dancing along the path to their own destruction. It's undeniable the narcissistic persona is a ticking time bomb, veiled in layers of deception and darkness. Let's get real here. Numerous factors can shatter a narcissist's facade, but I've honed in on two emotions that serve as their ultimate undoing. While everyone experiences these sentiments on occasion, narcissists are engulfed by them far more frequently than is healthy or typical. Stick around till the end, my friends, for I've yet to broach these emotions on this platform. Brace yourselves to uncover the depth of these emotions and why I believe they hold the power to dismantle the narcissist's fortress. Let's dive into the first emotion, envy. What exactly is it? Envy is that fiery cocktail of longing and resentment stirred up when you covet someone else's possessions, qualities or successes. For narcissists, this bitter brew is a daily indulgence, a constant simmer of discontent and fury towards those who possess what they do not. Regardless of their own achievements, narcissists are perennially consumed by envy, convinced they're entitled to more. Their insatiable desire to possess what others have stems from an innate greediness. They crave what isn't theirs, driven by a relentless pursuit of acquisition. But here's the kicker. Narcissists are utterly clueless about the concept of true happiness. Their existence is a perpetual cycle of yearning, leading them down a path of deceit, manipulation and theft. Their lives, much like their desires, are perpetually incomplete. Thus, it's no surprise that a narcissist will always find something in you to covet. Whether it's material possessions like your home, car or watch, or intangible qualities such as your relationships, character or intellect, nothing is off limits to their envious gaze. Narcissists harbour a deep-seated envy, but ironically, their longing isn't directed towards those who mirror their traits. Instead, they yearn to emulate individuals who stand in stark contrast to their own deceitful nature. Individuals who embody goodness, integrity and authenticity. Despite their mockery and attempts to exploit such individuals, narcissists secretly pine to possess the virtues they lack. They crave the ability to derive genuine contentment from life's simple pleasures, yet find themselves incapable of doing so. So, what does a narcissist do when consumed by envy but unable to act upon it? Well, this toxic emotion becomes entwined with anger, resentment and a myriad of other negative sentiments. Consequently, the narcissist becomes ensnared in a perpetual cycle of negativity, detrimental to both their mental and physical well-being. Picture a life plagued by unrelenting unhappiness. That's the grim reality faced by narcissists, trapped in a constant state of despondency. However, this is precisely why they don't masks. Their facade of false smiles and laughter serves as a shield, concealing the turmoil brewing within them. This is why I firmly believe that envy holds the power to dismantle the narcissist. It ignites a chain reaction of destructive emotions, rendering genuine happiness and peace perpetually out of reach. Narcissists teeter on the brink of insanity when consumed by pride. We're all familiar with the adage, pride comes before fall. 
indicating that an individual's downfall often follows a surge of hubris. However, this isn't the ordinary sense of pride experienced when witnessing personal or loved one's accomplishments. No, for narcissists, pride transcends mere emotion. It becomes ingrained in their very being. They are extremists, pushing every sentiment to its perilous limits, and pride is no exception. In the narcissistic realm, pride isn't just a fleeting feeling, it's a cornerstone of their identity. It's intertwined with their fabricated image and perceived achievements. Even covert narcissists, though they may veil it at times, harbour an unyielding sense of pride that inevitably surfaces. It's inherent in their character, an integral part of their narrative. They wholeheartedly buy into their own delusions, staunchly believing that their false persona is an authentic representation of themselves, and they take immense pride in it. Moreover, narcissists bask in their accomplishments, craving recognition and validation from others. Their pride morphs into an insatiable sense of entitlement, particularly evident in their academic and social spheres. They're so consumed by self-importance that they deem certain individuals and things beneath them. It's a twisted manifestation of superiority, fueled by their inflated ego and relentless pursuit of validation. They begin to harbour a sense of entitlement, convinced they deserve nothing less than the very best that life has to offer. Fueled by their towering pride, they arrogantly believe their methods reign supreme, yearning to dominate every facet of existence. Their inflated ego blinds them to their own imperfections, fostering a delusion of grandeur that elevates them above reality. Envy simmers within me as I witness their unwavering pride, a pride that distorts their self-perception, painting a rosier picture than reality dictates. Their pride is not only their downfall, but also their chills heal, rendering them incapable of acknowledging their flaws or admitting wrongdoing. They view themselves as flawless beings, impervious to error and beyond reproach. This arrogance prevents them from humbling themselves, from prioritizing the needs of others over their own. Their stubborn pride forbids them from accepting their own brokenness, from seeking the assistance they so desperately require. Instead of seeking redemption, their pride drives them towards self-destructive behaviors, inflicting harm upon themselves and those in their orbit. Thus, it's their own pride that will ultimately lead to their downfall, a tragic irony of their own creation. Pride and envy are toxic emotions, just a glimpse into the myriad issues narcissists grapple with. Their path is littered with self-destructive tendencies, their pride acting as a silent assassin, corroding their mind, body and soul. Like ticking time bombs, they set off plans that ultimately implode, wreaking havoc upon themselves. It's my earnest wish that my words resonate with you, shedding light on the complexities of narcissism. Please share your thoughts below, and may you all have a day filled with blessings and enlightenment.